Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? It's me, Waves from Slidner here. In this video, we are going to talk about how to write a simple Hello World program in JavaScript. First of all, I'd like to thank RJ Christie who contributed this slide in JavaScript. If you guys have something to contribute for some language, you're welcome to email us at slidner at gmail.com. So first, let's take a look at how you can put JavaScript inside HTML. So there are two ways you can put JavaScript using these script tags that we took a look in the previous video. So either put the JavaScript code directly in, into the web page within the script tags or keep the JavaScript in a separate file and link that file to your HTML file. Now in this video of course we're going to take a look at the first option which is inline JavaScript that's what they call it where the code and the HTML are in the same place. So how do you write hello world in JavaScript? Very simple. Simply write hello world now this is a bunch of characters in JavaScript. Now this is called a string. So put double quotes around this and all you gotta do is call this function alert or you can say a piece of code alert and put this inside alert and you display this in the browser. That's all you need to write. Now of course if you guys are familiar with other programming languages like C or C++ or Java or something then let me tell you this alert is actually a method or a function that takes this string as an argument and it displays it as a pop-up in the browser window. If you guys are not familiar with any programming languages then don't worry we will talk about what all these things mean in the upcoming videos when we dig deeper into variables and stuff in JavaScript. For now just remember all you gotta do is write this. So let's go to our edi editor out there and try to write this and figure out exactly how that looks. There are many editors available for JavaScript that you guys can use. There's Adobe Dreamweaver, there's Aptana Studio, there's Sublime Text Editor, there's Notepad of course. You can write everything with Notepad, you don't even need any editor. And there's WebStorm and there are some host of other tools out there including NetBeans, Eclipse and IntelliJ with all their plugins and extensions. But I'll be using WebStorm in all my video series. But if you guys really want to learn the language, stick to Notepad or Sublime Text Editor. So here in WebStorm I have a simple home.html page over here, nothing great about it. If you can see there's a title which is sample page, if you guys go to Chrome from here, you will see the title at the top which says Web sample page, that was the same title that we gave over here. And then there's this H1 text which is hello from SlideNet and Wibs and JS that you guys see right here in the browser window. Now what we want to do is write our hello world JavaScript code inside this. So where do we put this? The first thing that you gotta do is open the script tag over here by saying script. That's all you gotta do. And inside the script there are many attributes. If you remember, we talked about those attributes. There was type, there was char set. You can put the char set as UTF-8 if you want. You don't need to put this but I'm just showing you how to use those attributes. And you can put the type of the document as text, JavaScript. There are many other types over here as you guys can see there's HTML, ECMA script, there's coffee script and so on. So I'll put text JavaScript over here. It's not needed because by default when you don't specify the type it is assumed to be JavaScript. Now inside this, I mean within these script tags whatever you write is JavaScript. So you write hello world here. Now this has to be in double quotes. This is actually a group of characters called a string in JavaScript that we're putting up together. and what you want to do is display this as a pop-up window in your browser. So for that we'll use this function called alert. Now if you don't know what is a function don't worry about it. All you gotta do is copy paste this text like this within these parentheses and paste them over here. You can write anything you want. Hello world from you can say waves and slide and whatever. So this is all you require and of course don't forget the semicolon at the end over here. In JavaScript the semicolon is like a full stop in English. After every sentence you put a full stop. The same way after every statement you put a semicolon. So at this point you just save here and you just go to Chrome. And there you go. It says hello world from Vivs. This is the pop up window which popped up because we wrote this alert over here and then we put the text inside. Whatever text you want to put, put that inside the double quotes. Remember, write alert with the two parentheses and all. And we will talk about what the alert is, what is a function and what is a method and so on in the other upcoming videos. Now we can see this in different browsers and figure out how it looks. So you can close that You can go here to Opera. As you guys can see, this is the same kind of pop-up window that comes up in Opera. And go here to Safari. 
and as you guys notice it took a little bit of time but then there's our hello world from Wiz Safari popping up and of course there's our dear Internet Explorer it has this dialogue which says hello world from Wiz again and last but not the least let's take a look at Firefox over here and there you go that's our pop-up window so as you guys can see over there the pop-up looks a bit different in different browsers but for now you're not dealing with browsers so much but later as code gets more complicated you're gonna have to screw your brains a lot for going through work with different browsers out there so let's get back to our presentation and try to figure out some points that we need to reconsider so if you see our web browser and if you see our web server the web browser has CSS for defining its appearance it has its logic or you can say the uh, thinking process which is put inside your JavaScript code other than that it has HTML text stuff and what happens is whatever code you write inside the script element is interpreted from top to bottom one line by one line things are read things are understood by your browser or JavaScript interpreter and ultimately the rest of the page is not loaded or displayed until all the code inside the script element has been evaluated which means if there's a lot of code inside your script element it's gonna take a lot of time to analyze it and try to process it interpret it and then your HTML stuff will be displayed now this is not so good news we will be talking about how to get around this limitation where you have a lot of code inside script and you want to display the HTML before you work with JavaScript now we will be talking about that in the upcoming videos and last but not the least there is a small thing that you guys need to remember there is an issue with writing script inside so let me go back to our web storm and show you exactly what so inside this if I go here and if I say hello if I put brackets over here so I write script over here then that is messed up if you run this in your browser at the top by going to Chrome you will see a weird parentheses and this double quotes and colon and you guys are wondering what is going on how did these characters come here the problem is this script is taken as the start and this script is taken as the end but what you actually wanted to do was you just wanted to write this now the reason why this happens is there's an angle bracket and there is this indicating that you're actually closing a tag that's what the browser thinks when it sees this so how you can avoid this very simple just go here put a backslash in front of this and you're done so you go now go, go to chrome again hello script okay and this time if you guys notice it says hello script perfectly now this backslash which I put over here is what you call as an escape character in other words it doesn't let these two things get together and close the tag what it does it interrupts between them and it says hey this is basically a normal script He's trying to write it man he's not trying to close the tag that's what this backslash does now we will be talking about escape characters in a lot more detail in the upcoming sections about variables and identifiers and stuff but for now remember that you cannot directly write a closing script like that inside your hello now let's go back to the presentation and figure out one or two points that we have just missed so when you're using inline JavaScript code keep in mind that you cannot have this thing anywhere in your code if you have it then you, the browser understands that you're trying to close the script tag and hence what you're gonna do is you use the backslash character to make it acceptable to the browsers and you're good to go so that's all we need to discuss about basic hello world application in our JavaScript in the next video we'll be further digging out into external JavaScript files and try to see how we can make the hello world using a separate JavaScript file from your HTML file in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day and thanks to RJ Christie as well.